just like, who, who, who this? Harpo, who are these, who are these women's? Who are these women's? What, who, who? What's going on people, it's back in it again. So today, I'm so excited because somebody said I should do a little bit more Clark sister reaction videos. And yeah, as y'all already know, y'all already know what's popping on this channel, y'all already know what's good, y'all already know I love Clark sisters for so many different reasons. Their musicality, their lifestyle, their, their beliefs, their example, being gospel legends, their musicality, their songs, their faith, their prayer lives. It was literally, I think the one, the one song that really arrested my spirit Back when I was about maybe 19 to 20 years old, it was a praying spirit. It was a praying spirit. And like, definitely for me, right around the time I went to college, I think everybody kind of, you know, has their days, you know, or go for a time, you know, if you knew the Lord before you went off to college, you know, you kind of just, you know, you just do your own thing. And um, for me, I remember I ended up joining this ministry. I went home for the summer and like, I, I rediscovered gospel music all over again and got really started changing my musical, palette and my taste and stuff and so i rediscovered gospel music and for me what happened was it it started with uncle donnie it started with donnie mcclurk and come on somebody say if you could just stand come on you know like after you've done all you can you just stand and it went from uncle donnie and just like following his story listening to all his music and for me i don't know about you guys but i'm that person that's just like if i learn somebody if i find out about this person as far as like you know their music you know i'm like I'm like looking at their life. I'm like looking at interviews. I'm like looking at all the, all the content, trying to figure out like, who is this person? Where have they been? Where do they come from? You know, like, what are they, what do they, do they always sound like this? Are they consistent? Do they change on you? What, what is all the things? I want to know all the things. So like, I literally go into like this rabbit hole. So I did that with Uncle Donnie. And then somewhere in there, I think I heard him on, um, maybe it was TBN with Kim Burrell. God has not <laughs> Sunshine, because that's not the way it's going to be. But sometimes we've got to get a little rain <laughs> mixed with God's. Sunshine, oh, a little pain. It makes me appreciate that. See, I can't play with that. The good times, so be. You may not have the Bentley yet, but be. Anyways, so she sung Be Grateful and that changed my life. And I was like, who is this woman? And I'm like, she has all these, you know, melismas, all these runs, these riffs, her musicality is crazy and her ear and stuff. And I'm like, oh, and she's jazzy. She's like the jazz fusion gospel singer, uh, which is like, whoa, that's so dope. And you hear it. It's not like she tries to be. It's just like, it's just locked in her voice. It's just like jazz is in her sound. It's built in there. She can't necessarily turn it off. But then I think that's also one of the reasons why I also gravitated towards like, you know, the Clark sisters and even like Dorinda. They all kind of do with scatting and has their jazz elements with the improv, um, circle singing and all this stuff. Um, but I love one thing I love about Dorinda is that Dorinda can turn it on and turn it off. And she's going to either give you one or two things. She's either going to give you like a jazz blend, which is like Kim and Karen together. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still here. Hey, hey. I'm 
Now that's the Now that's the cute you're in the world. Or um she is gonna give you straight church, which is like straight belting, powerhouse singing, preaching. And the one thing I love about Dorinda is so much stamina. <laughs> But that's not what I'm talking to you about in the story. So in the story, I went from Uncle Donnie to Kim Burrell, and then from Kim Burrell, you know, cause I was like, I love Uncle Donnie cause Uncle Donnie's like the tenor of tenors. And I'm like, oh my God, Kim Burrell, like she sings so jazzy, I love it. And then I was like, wait, stop the presses, stop the presses, stop the pauses, stop the causes. What really happened was I, in my whole pursuit of Kim Burrell, her music and all the things, I was baffled. I was bewildered when I learned one of the albums of Kimber Rose that I love is the Love album, and she did like a whole different, a bunch of different songs that are really cool. Um, you should check it out if you're not familiar. Um, and she did like a lot of different covers, but we'll uncover that I did. Okay, it's in my spirit. I'm going to see this gonna be excited. Slow down. So one of the things that happened for me was that I was listening to that album. There's one song she does. Do I speak or do I not? My insecurity to me by my lines. Da 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 do another. And a smile, then I need a hug. And a touch, now let's make it to love. Let us make it to love. Oh, oh I have a love cry. Why am we? I have a love cry. Why am we? When I see, oh, 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 the Barge fam, I can't think of what it is. Oh, she did uh, Love Me In A Special Way. And she did it her jazzy way. But that's, I digress, because what she really did that I did not know was not her song, and I swear, you know, like, were you really getting the music, you start learning about covers, like samples aside, but like people covering like songs and they make them sound completely, drastically different. I mean, we know that with like the black community, how that's happened to us. But even like within, you know, just music, like, you know, I love this song. You're like, that's not the person who sung this song. And you hear the original. And in rare cases, in rare cases, the original is greater than, um, I'll say greater than, maybe equal to in some instances, greater than or equal to the re-recording or the cover. Aretha Franklin is like, I think my, me and my sister talk about it frequently. My, we've, I think I stamp that she is the queen of covers. Watch the biopic on um hulu with clive davis i personally preferred that better because i learned more about aretha and like the full picture of aretha rather than like what i did in the movie but that's a discussion for another day but you know i feel like she's the queen of covering music other people's songs and with her being able to play and sing and just change the tempo and all that stuff and produce it and whatnot that's ridiculous like it really sounds like a completely different song but that speaks to like the musicianship of these people shout out to these people men and women alike that are just musicians and killing it but anyways, so I said all that to say that I was floored when I learned. I was floored when I learned that when Kim Burrell did Jesus is a love song, that wasn't her song. Cause what? Like they and you know they didn't play Jesus Love Song on the radio. You would hear you would probably be more likely to hear Bomb and Gilead on the radio than Jesus a love song, although that's a impeccable, it's, 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 it's a, a ridiculous, ridiculous song. But, you know, back on the days of early YouTube, like, you know, t -t 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 typing it in, hit play, and like, what'd you believe? I found out the Clark sisters, Jesus a love song, and I said, what? But this is Kim's song. So I thought, you know, I thought it was Kim's song. I was just like, what? This is Kim's song. And I listened to it and you guys know what happened. You guys know what happened between the harmonies, the the nuances, all of the all, well, all three of them singing the parts between Twinkie, Karen, and Dorinda, and it was just like, who 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 it is? Harper, who it is? Who are these women's? Who are these women's? What who 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 are these women's? What where they come from? What who? You know, I, I was floored. I was floored. I was floored. 
and it, it was just so captivating. And then that dropped me down the rabbit hole. And I think I went from Jesus Love Song and then between one of two songs primarily really arrested my spirit. And the first one, I think, I think the very first one was Name It and Claim It, right? You know, and it's like, how could it not? And it wasn't more so because of like the five part harmonies they were doing, but it was more so for me, it was the part that like their voices were maneuvering on like the, uh, the, um, like That whole part with them doing that and Karen like holding her part and then she's doing her shooty doo doo doop at the top and it was just like the way that it was intersecting and I was like how in the world are they doing that? I've never heard nobody do that before as intricate as that sounds. I was like, what? I literally, I kept re going back because I was like, what are they doing? How, how are they doing that? And this is very much, I didn't have, these were not musically trained ears. So I could not differentiate whose voice is who. Let's get into the blend. I couldn't tell whose voice was who, who was doing what. I, I just, I was just, I was amazed. I was floored. I was like, who is singing? And it's five of them. And I'm like, okay, she's singing the lead now. And I'm okay, okay, I'm like, Dorinda had a part, okay. So that, but like together, I was like, Matt, Maddie, well done, well done. Because the way she got them sounding like one person and you can't really tell unless you really, 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 really put your time in and you really put your ear in. And I mean, you listen to all the records and you replay it and you play it until you got like Donald Lawrence precision. Like you will not differentiate their voices and who's singing what part. And even there's some instances where it still sounds hard. It's still tricky because it's just like, man. And I love their voices so much. I love their voices so much for so many different reasons. I love how it comes together. And I love how Jackie's voice is so, it's so rich and it's so smooth. Um, and, and, and shout out to Maddie because it's wild. She had all these, five, she had five girls and all of her girls could sing like, she had like a full choir. Like how do you have sopranos, mezzos, altos, and you had a Twinkie. You got a Twinkie who can sing anything. <laughs> like doesn't matter how high, doesn't matter how low. And like Jackie just like Jackie just be cool. She just be in her pocket, like, yo, I'm gonna give you I'ma give you straight, I'm gonna give you straight tones, I'm throwing a little vibrato, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you a little this, I'm gonna give you a little that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just gonna chill, I'm just gonna chill. Give you a little riff, a little run here. And so I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you face, I'm gonna give you face, you know. You may be weak, you may be one, you may be gone. But don't you know that if I know and understands all. And I'll be like, come on, Jackie, if y'all can play, far in a strain, then don't complain. And don't you know that God knows and understands all. And she's just like chill. And you got Nisi. And Nisi has like that. Nisi has like that rasp and that distortion in her voice naturally, which is like, ah. 
And her voice, I think, sounds the most similar to like Maddie's voice, their mom. Um, but it's like the soprano -y version, more of a soprano -y version. And it's very distinct. And even like, you know, when she's um, on, um, uh, is my prayer, is it, is it, is it in vain? Like, ah, oh, it's like, Nancy, Nancy! And then Twinkie, I love the like, Twinkie has like a little rasp on her, especially on her upper register and just in her voice too. I think as she got older, it kind of like smoothed out more and it's still apparent. But you know, and then Karen, Dorinda's voice is just like, it's so bright. It was so bright and so colorful. And then with the rasp with her preaching and singing and all stuff, all hard and whatnot, it really made it more of a unique sound and a tone. But like, although it's raspy, it's still very clear. Everything can be clearly heard and um, all the things. And Karen, just the soprano that she's just ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. And all of them have like a similar vibrato speed, which I think contributes to like them singing well together and everything and it's just craziness it's just craziness um just craziness so like hearing name and claim it and them doing all the, the things it really had my heart like like what like what who what so name and claim it it arrested my spirit but what really 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 got me was a praying spirit and when I tell you I played it out, like I played it out. Like I played, I played a praying spirit so much. Um, it just, it just really arrested my spirit. The lyrics, like Lord, give me a praying spirit throughout the day, a praying spirit in every way, a praying spirit lest I stray, a praying spirit that I might stay, oh Lord, like what? the holy spirit reminded me the other day i think that's one of the reasons why i'm like a prayer warrior now it's like i played that song so much that song resonated with me for so long i still love this to to this day that's still one of my favorite songs by the clark sisters and one that twinkie has written um you know that and down me um jesus is a love song of course uh it's so many things her pen is crazy and her pen actually inspired me to be like i want a song right i'm like she writes songs from the bible that's crazy i never heard people do that like who else is writing songs from scripture and it's clearly denoted from the scripture like trust in him and i love watching like their bring it back home concert and they had like the scripture listed like where this came from they were like psalm 107 or this or that and i'm just like that's dope <laughs> able to write i don't be able to write songs from scripture and would you know when you pray these things god can actually do it for you and I've, I've had the privilege and the opportunity to write songs that have been inspired from scripture and my own journey and stuff but i absolutely adored the fact so it's just like that's that's the little the clark sister magic that i just absolutely just have fallen in love with um but a praying spirit, it really arrested my spirit. And I really was praying. I was like, Lord, give me a praying spirit. Like, I want a praying spirit, God. I want a praying spirit. I don't even, you don't even know. You don't even know what you're praying for, right? You don't even know what you're praying for at these junctures in time. I'm like, God, give me a praying spirit. Give me a praying spirit. Give me a praying spirit every day. Like playing the song every day asking like, okay, like, Lord, give me a praying spirit. Because you don't know you're singing this, right? You're singing this song, Lord, give me a praying spirit. But you're praying. You're praying while you're singing this song. Lord, give me a praying spirit. Lord, give me a praying spirit. Lord, give me a praying spirit. And what does God do? Give you a praying spirit? Give you a praying spirit. Like, 
what? That's crazy. Crazy. And I literally sung my heart out. And I was just like, oh my God, they are insane. They are insane. 